I'm just old school fool, and you know, once in a while I get a little run down, and you know, it's just a lot of work testing all the stuff out all the time, and communicating, going back and forth, and looking at the screen. So like, you know, I do need a pick me up. Uh, it's not convenient all the time to get takeout for some strange reason. I don't know, like California, they don't let you delivery here too much. But either way, uh, I've got to tell you guys that I need snack. I need snack while I'm at the computer. It's just, it's just a must have. And not only when I'm at the PC, but also while I'm gaming. And uh, today we're doing something a little different. We're testing out a product. Uh, it's an edible product, and we've done a few edibles before. But we're, we, it's going to be like a snack, basically, and it's supposed to be good for your brain. Yes, the brain. All right, gamers. So, the new product we're testing out today is Gamer Grub. Yes, and we're not talking about like your friends that need a ride to tournaments and stuff like that. You know, like rubbing rides or like you want to borrow controllers or they don't will not buy their own copy of the game. We're talking about the food, Gamer Grub. Now, uh, Gamer Grub is actually a new performance food, snack food for gamers and pro gamer enthusiasts and pretty much anybody who's sitting at a, behind a PC for more than four hours a day. So what we have here is we have three different types of gamer grub. They come in these cool space age, uh, space age containers. They're like, I guess they're, I guess on the inside it's kind of like a metallic uh, the air sealed package, but it doesn't feel like it's totally air sealed. There's some air in it. Uh, I guess it's keep it somewhat fresh and not so spacey. Um, it contains a bunch of cool nutrients. Um, I guess like vitamin A, calcium, vitamin E, magnesium, vitamin C, and everybody needs that. And iron, not bad, niacin. So it definitely has a lot of vitamins and minerals. So let's uh, let's get started. Now, um, this helps my neurotransmitters. Uh, so the Gamer Grub comes in three flavors. It comes in pizza, comes in barbecue and comes in peanut butter and jelly. Now it doesn't say peanut butter and jelly, it says PB and J, but I would hope that was peanut butter and jelly. So now I can eat peanut butter and jelly out of a packet um, without bread or knife or a glass of milk. So here we go. We're gonna give uh, the first one a shot. I've been uh, actually kinda kinda wanted to taste the pizza one. I don't want to see what their slice of pizza is. So, we'll take a closer look here, and we'll open it, Ooh. and we're invited to one of those cool Ziploc tops. Let's sniff, and it smells a little like combos. Hmm, pretty hearty container here, well, it's, pretty, it's pretty full to the top, if you guys take a closer look. You'll see that uh, it's not like a bag of chips. They actually give you like good four fifths of the bag there. So, all right. So we're gonna we're gonna try some out here. We got some almonds. It looks like an almond. And then we have this looks like a dried macaroni piece. I don't know what has to do with pizza, but. Tastes like a corn, one of those corn nuts. And then we have this other macaroni piece. Mm, that one tastes like the most like pizza. Yeah, it definitely tastes like pizza. Crazy. Scientifically engineered flavoring. Um, then we have a. Uh, it's the only time I would tuck my mouth full. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, it's just not too bad. I'm gonna cross between um, uh, exemplified just on the package. It tells you to tear and tilt. Um, uh, not too bad. It tastes like a combo cross between combos. The pretzely good snack and um, real fake pizza flavoring. Mm, and you're looking good. All right. All right, so now we got BBQ, the barbecue. Yeehaw. I like my barbecue a little spicy. So <laughs> the pizza's pretty like, you know, on point, not too spicy, kind of just tastes like pizza. A little like, uh, 
not, not, not like the high school pizza, guys. Not like that, you know, that stuff that looks like a, uh, you know, a saltine cracker with cheese and, and sauce. So we're gonna unzip this one for freshness. And what do we got here? Thank you. Right. Upon examining the bag, it looks like it's the same exact stuff. Lots of like little like fake macaroni pieces. It looks like some regular nuts in here, and an almond or two. And see barbecue. Mm. Hasn't kicked in. The flavor crystals haven't kicked in yet. It's like, that's like a really sweet barbecue. I'm not too down on the sweet barbecue. I like my barbecue smoky. Oh, what the hell was that? Mmm. There's like a candy coated shell in here. I have no idea. Oh, let me see if I can find another one of these. Mmm. It's kind of sweet. Oh, this one looks like a. Almost like a cinnamony nut. Got a cinnamon flavor, so it's like sweet barbecue with more sweet. I'm not too bad. I like that one piece. I'm not tasting the barbecue too much though. I'm not feeling it. Doesn't have too much flavor. It's like whatever. Alright, well, there you have it. Oh, let me uh, tilt and swallow. I imagine one container has. I imagine it has almost four servings per container and it's 150 calories per. So it doesn't take like 500 calories just for one pack. Alright. Uh, gotta wash that down. That, my friends, is the breakfast of champions. Alright, so this is butter and jelly. I'm really curious as how they could be taking some creamy good substance, put it on a regular piece of starchy bread, and turn it into something from like space food. Now upon looking at the container, it kind of looks like a little powdery, a little more powdery than most. And it's very pale looking compared to the other one. The other one's like deeper colors. This is kind of pale. Now upon smelling it, it does smell a little like peanut butter. Actually some of the stuff in here looks like the inside of a Reese's Pieces. And, I don't know, let me give it a shot here. These all have a little different something here. And it's like, um, the jelly it actually looks like real jelly pieces. The nuts taste like peanut butter, peanuts. So I guess that's like not too hard to recreate that. And, And then there's those other little, looks like um, cookie crisps, half some cookie crisp pieces that offer some type of um, extra peanut butter flavor. Overall, it tastes a little funky. Not too bad, but definitely like a unique type of food. Great for hitting the road during more road trips. This might be a little bit better on road trips, actually, they play a game. Not too bad. I like this one, too. So there you have it, folks. That is Gamer Grub. Yes, Gamer Grub. It's uh, four square meals in one solid packet. All right, gamers. Well, if you guys want to try your own Gamer Grub, I suggest you go to DosCheap.com where you can actually buy your own packs of Gamer Grub. I mean, you can give it out to your friends so they can stop, like, um, you know, raiding your fridge. Uh, you can take it on long road trips. I definitely suggest that. Uh, not too bad. Definitely interesting. I prefer the PB&J and the, uh, the pizza one uh, opposed to the, uh, the, uh, the barbecue. But though I like the sweet, the, the sweet, the cinnamon nuts and the barbecue, it's pretty good mix up. All right, game as well. Hopefully, uh, 
This gives you some insight onto uh, what type of grub you can be getting. And uh, don't forget to follow us on facebook.com forward slash dash reviews. And also, if you guys, like I said, want this product and other cool products just like it, if not actually cooler than Gamer Grub, I mean, you can't eat all this stuff on the site, but some of it can. All right, gamers, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys next time. Don't be a grub.